Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Uh, and Rex. This is a gift from Robert and Kim Grimillion. Robert and Kim Grimillion, you magnificent bastards. So these guys gave us the Louisiana last batch from that one distillery that closed down making rice whiskey. Oh yeah. But they also gave us this new one. Okay. From this distillery, Atelier. Vai. Vai Chipu? Atelier. Is that the thing? Atelier Vai? Yeah, it's a New Orleans distillery. No. Tiny. No. Specifically focused on distilling rice. 100% rice. Okay. But, but using, if I'm not mistaken, using yeast that is more typically whiskey yeast and pot distillation. Uh, the only other distillery, I know there's a few distilleries that have done this, but I know there's one in Texas called like MK. MKT. MKT. They were looking at, no, they don't do rice. They're still doing corn. I thought, but who they, was doing no, rice in? No, they built them in an old rice factory, like a rice That's what silos. I said. Yeah. This, roll it back is exactly what I said. Yeah. <laughs> so they only got 143 bottles, evidently, of this first release. Okay. Three years old, 100% Louisiana rice, distilled in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like the nose. I'm getting a, um, a Smarties. Yeah, yeah. Smarties, like a little- Dusty candy. The powdery candy, a little comes in a, like a little cylinder things of little discs. Jed Haas is the master Concave distiller. discs. Or head distiller. I can't get much more, now that you said Smarties, I'm getting that sour, sweet, dusty, yeah. powdered sugar combo. Not a very, Complicated nose. No, but that is not pretty. offensive at all. Mm. It adds slight licorice note for some reason. Is it a licorice note? Yeah, three fourths of the way through. What would be a barrel note is a licorice note for me. Hmm. Hmm. Mostly just Can hard candy. candy sweet. Definitely candy sweet. Forty five percent. And by the way, it's not Grimillion. They actually put the pronunciation on the side of the bottle. But no, but I. But I like my pronunciation better. Well, hold on. For the Grimion. record, Grimion. 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 Grimillion. Grimillion. Grimion. So, so much Robert cool. and Kim, Grimion. <laughs> <laughs> they went to the trouble phonetically. I know. And we still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the kind of bullshit people would pull if, you know, somebody sent you a really cool cork and said, hey, when you're done, you send it back and then you wait like two years. And then you're like, I didn't forget. <laughs> Like, no, you did. That's the definition of forgetting. <laughs> it's not here, is it? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's simple. It's sweet. It doesn't do anything gross. Yeah. But it is, it's about, see, I don't know what it is about the character of rice. I'm not expecting incredible amounts of nuance and complexity coming yeah, out of rice. Me either. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. I didn't have anything to compare this to, so I wanted to try it up against Fukano whiskey, which is a rice whiskey from- No Fukano! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me go. <laughs> you know what? Yes. It's totally different nose, but it's got that similar one note, simple sweetness. This is the right. Fukano. No Fukano. No. No, no. Fukano. <laughs> I don't know why I can't stop myself. Yeah, there's a bit more character from coming out Ramiro of the- Beza. There's a bit more. Is that thunder? It sounded like it. Good, man. It was cooking today. It My was. God. It was hot. I mean, just the scoot over here was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go like this. <laughs> oh, multiple times. <laughs> you know what? Don't like the Fakano. It's simple and a little sour. This actually way more interesting and a little more approachable. This is going to. I'll bet that would be really good in a cocktail. Is this gonna, is this gonna be racy? Fuck it, I don't care, I don't care. I, this, I find notes of sake. Yeah, yeah, I think the processes are maybe closer to sake. Yeah. Like maybe their fermentation's different. And yeah, but there is like the underlying sweetness mm -hmm. is the sweetness that I get. And I have sake probably once a month. Go and get sushi or something. Yeah, just somewhere close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. The, right. the unfiltered stuff, it's all like hazy and weird. Mm -hmm. That's good. You got some current well, Just really quick, I want to do one last pass at this because I just did it a couple of times. Yeah, no, I came back to it and it still is, it's um, it's now almonds, dusty sugar, yeah, uh, candy, and then it, for me, a hint of almost licorice yeah. that doesn't quite you turn into licorice. 
for the the person that doesn't they won't want to go exploring they just need something like simple and sweet and friendly that's not going to take their head off yeah yeah it's just i'd walk around the street drinking that in public in new orleans in new orleans yeah <laughs> Uh, Jamie Davis. I'm just curious if everyone tastes dust in Texas whiskeys. I taste it in all of the Balconis and Eleanor's I have test tasted. It isn't bad, just a tasting note I found in all of them. Okay, so here's the thing. Eleanor's not in Texans, MGP this, yeah. aged in Texas. But I think the dusty note that you're talking about yeah. is something that we talk about a lot in the whiskey class. Mm -hmm. It's an identifier of bourbon for a lot of people. Is not always Kentucky bourbon, but it's corn. Corn. And when you get this slight grain dusty note, mm -hmm. it tends to mean that corn is the dominant grain. But so you saying, might have spotted corn. But he's saying in Texas whiskeys. Yeah, I know. But then he cited Balconis and Eleanor. Right. So that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying I it, don't think it's Texas. That's. But he's finding it. He, mean, he mentioned it in Texas whiskey specifically. If it's corn, like corn's going to be in almost all American whiskeys. Yeah, I'm just saying if those are the only two Texas whiskeys you compared it to, yeah, yeah. you're actually getting more corn. Joshua Bustamante. Bustamante. So I need some advice from the tribe, guys. As somebody who is new to whiskey, I've been ordering shots of random whiskeys at bars whenever I can just to explore mm. and find stuff I like as cheaply as possible. That's a great idea. Yeah. You're a genius. Who thought of that? I'm my like, problem, I did. I told Daniel and he yeah. passed it along. My problem is that <laughs> my fiance keeps telling me that I'm drinking my whiskey wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, Dump your fiance. Ah! <laughs> We're getting into relationship advice now, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I usually order shops, she thinks I just have to knock it back all at once. Mm. So your fiance is still tied to the, the college drink. Drink to get drunk right. world. You're taking your first childlike steps into the how to drink like a, like a grown ass man. Yeah. Not a college bro. And she's hassling you for right. it. Is yeah. that what I'm getting? All my bros from the frat don't drink like that. Anyway, yeah. I'm sure she's lovely. You just have to break it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she tends to get frustrated watching me sit there and actually try to explore the whiskey Look, a little. It, I'm just going to go on record as saying if she's getting frustrated with you. Drink harder, boy. <laughs> taking your time drinking hard liquor. Yeah. Like that's. I want my man That's to a drink conversation that harder needs to happen. Harder and faster. That's real. <laughs> a real conversation needs to happen. My man is drinking liquor responsibly, and I find it frustrating. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, so we were joking. But now you I'm not. Must, yeah. must leave her. Now you like no really. Like have at least go at least meet with someone. No. Right. See, look, I was obviously joking with me, and you're getting like really earnest. It's like, like, like we were kidding, like, but now you, need you to go seriously to need to sit down. And, yeah, you guys got a lot to talk about. And the end goal of this counselor isn't to repair the relationship; it's to figure out how to break the relationship as yeah. cleanly as possible yeah, with just, as little trauma as possible. Best, this is what you're saying. It's best for all concerned, I think, <laughs> that we just, you know, part ways. At this venture, you know, it'd be very fun. before lawyers get involved. It'd be very, very fun <laughs> if we uh, had a podcast, podcast that we gave nothing but bad relationship really advice. Really bad relationship advice. Yes. Here's what you need to do: you need to put her in her place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to explain to her how she should feel so lucky. <laughs> as to, <laughs> uh, I understand that drinking out of a shot glass is not the ideal way to explore my new whiskeys, yeah, but it's but the easiest and cheapest way for me to do so at the moment. Yeah, and most bars, when you they order don't. something neat, they either give you a giant glass with a tiny amount of whiskey, right. or they give you a shot glass because they literally have no be middle options. So a new question, how do I explain to my fiance today that there is no right or wrong, to, right or wrong way to experience you, whiskey? I tried telling her rule number one, but she doesn't seem to show agree her with video, me. Show this video, and they'll fix everything. All right. I mean, I don't want to pull rank, but it's only... <laughs> I don't want to pull rank. The biggest whiskey channel on YouTube. Look, that could change. We're nothing special. Tomorrow, There's nothing special. Yeah. But I don't want to I'm pull sure rank. She's, I'm sure she's lovely. <laughs> I can tell from here she's a beautiful, lovely, wonderful human being. But, uh, but it's, yeah, however, she wants have to. Have we drink. ever done this before where we were just like, <laughs> usually we're just like, you should be so lucky and thank your stars. Yeah, that's this you. is the first time that's we've you, ever man. been like, yeah. I don't know, man. That's you. I've never said it should be I don't so know if this is, I, I don't think, know if this is going to work. I think if you don't have a line of women waiting at your door, you're doing it wrong. 
Uh, so this is a thing that's simple but not bad. Yeah. If you like really basic, uh, you know, whiskey that isn't going to be challenging, you're not going to go exploring. Yeah. Coming back to it, I'm getting cherry uh, syrup. Oh, wait. Right? Oh, you come Isn't back. Isn't that new? Yeah. Cherry syrup. Yeah, with a little bit of oakiness in there. Yeah. Okay. That's bizarre. That, was, that took so, a very long time. It gets 50% more interesting. If you rant long enough to let it get there. Yeah, now we're going to really annoy the distiller. Episode over! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your lever's heart. But not that lever, because she, no. again, a different, y- yeah. you know. You know. You can do better. <laughs> and if you drink? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> May you drink with us. Oh, I feel bad.